بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello my esteemed students to a new lesson Lesson number 6 And it has the title of speaking And su the subtitle is Talking about books So in this lesson we will talk about The books you have read Or you have ever read during your life Look at these two pictures The first one on the right and the second one on the left Where are these people sitting? Yeah, they are sitting in a cafe What are they doing? Yes, the right, the the man who is in, dressed in red has a book on his table. <coughs> Whereas this man, which is, who is in blue or in yeah, he doesn't have a book in front of him. And on the right we have this title, the bleeding of the stone. by Ibrahim al -Kuni. Now let's do the first exercise number A Complete the conversation with words from the books Exciting Set Called About Written By Character recommend. We have eight words. We have to put them in the correct position in this conversation. The conversation is between Ahmed and Khalid. Ahmed, hi Khalid. What are you doing? Khalid, actually. I have just finished it. It's called the bleeding of the stun. It's called the bleeding of the stun. Oh, Ahmed, I have never heard of it. Who is it by? Khaled Ibrahim Al Kony. So. What is it about? Stones. What is it about? Stones. Not exactly. It's about the effect humans have on the natural world, really. It's set in the desert in Libya. It's about the effect humans have On the natural world, really, it's set in the desert in Libya. Ahmed, and what's the storyline? Khalid, well, the main character, the main character is called Asuf. He is Bedouin. who lives in a very remote part of the desert. He's a kind of expert on the area and he is the only one who knows where some really rare sheep are. Then, these two hunters meet Asif and they want him to show them where the Wadan are. Ahmed, so, would you recommend it? Would you recommend it? Khaled, yes. I definitely would. It's an exciting story and it's also made me think. And it's really well written. There are 
some beautiful descriptions of the desert <coughs> you should read it Ahmed it doesn't sound good can I borrow it sorry it does sound good can I borrow it Now after filling in the spaces with these words you can see the answers in front of you Answers the first one called the second by the third answer is about number 4 set number 5 character Number six, recommend. Number seven, exciting. Number eight, written. Number eight, written. You can write them down in your books, my dear students, after that. After that, let's do another thing. Number B. This is a new task. Number B says, read the information in the books below. Practice saying the phrases in pairs. Here in this study books, we will learn how to describe some books and how can we give our opinions about book giving opinions about a book there are a lot of ways to tell someone what you thought of a book there are a lot of ways many ways to tell somebody what you thought of a book what is your opinion of this book or that book when you like a book, you can say. So here we have some sentences you can say if you like this book or that book. Examples. I couldn't put it down. I couldn't put it down. It's well or brilliantly written. I would definitely recommend it. You should read it. You should read it. But on the other hand, when you don't like a book, you can say these phrases or sentences. It's good in parts, but... It's not really my kind of book. It's not very well written. Or we can say, it's not brilliantly written. I definitely wouldn't recommend it. It's not worth reading. It's not worth reading. Now let's move to our workbook, definitely to exercise number B. Look at the way Khalid describes the storyline of the book on course book page number 59. What tense does he use? Complete the information below. Telling stories. Here if you want to tell any story, my student you have to use sometimes past tenses in its three forms I mean past simple, past continuous, past perfect and in other occasions we can use present in its three forms I mean present simple, present continuous and present perfect now how can I choose past or present 
Is it up to me or we have a rule here? Let's read now. Most stories are written in the space tense. But when we summarize or review story, we use the space tense. Here you have to pay your attention to something. You have to put something into your consideration, my students, which is most stories are must, not all. Most of them are written in the past tense. Why? Because the actions happened in the past. But here... When we summarize, we want to rephrase or review story, we use the present tense. Here is the answer. Most stories are written in the past tense, but when we summarize or review story, we use the present tense. Now, by doing exercise, number B, in our workbooks, we can finish this lesson. I hope you can get the benefit of this lesson, my esteemed students. And I hope you enjoy listening to me. Thank you for patience and goodbye.